Happy Monday everyone. This is Martha with Nature Niche. I'm coming to you from Chippewa Nature Center. I'm here with Lindsay Harrell. She's an interpretive naturalist and the uh, Midland County Coordinator for the Vernal Pool Patrol. So uh, this week I thought we'd talk a little bit about um, an upcoming Vernal Pool Monitoring uh, training opportunity. If you need a refresher on uh, what a vernal pool is, why they're important. You can double back to Monday with Martha number 96 for that. But um, Lindsay, can you tell us a little bit about your upcoming training? Yes. So Chippewa Nature Center, um, along with the Chippewa Watershed Conservancy and Little Forks Conservancies are all teaming up and we're going to do a training about vernal pools for vernal pool patrol. So vernal pool patrol is a community science program where we're inventorying as many vernal pools and everything living in it and around it for the state of Michigan. So scientists can understand and land managers can understand how many of what are living in these vernal pools, how vast our vernal pool systems are. Mm -hmm. um, so that training will take place on April 13th and April 14th. April 13th will be here at Chippewa Nature Center from 12 to five and we will be inside the classroom getting a um, classroom style training understanding um, how to monitor what to look for how to id things um, answer any questions tell you how to um, how you can volunteer with one of the three organizations because we have a lot of different properties a lot of land to cover and we need help monitoring our pools as well um, so you'll learn how you can get involved with us. You will also uh, get some field experience. So the second half of the day on April 13th is going to be monitoring this pool. We're gonna look in, at, in and around um, using tools of various sizes mm -hmm. and types. Mm -hmm. And we will um, then on April 14th, we'll be getting to a different property for the Little Forks Conservancy. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna be heading to the River View natural area um, we'll meet there at one it'll be one to three and we'll see a different type of vernal pool and hopefully hopefully get some uh, blue spotted salamanders there or maybe some egg sacs who knows um, so you have to come out and check it out we have registration for this so we have plenty of space left um, if you go to chippewanaturecenter.org it's in our calendar mm -hmm. and it'll lead you through the process um, if you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of Martha. She can direct you towards me, or you can call the Nature Center and they'll put you through to me. Um, if you are really getting interested in vernal pools, I 10 out of 10 recommend um, keeping your eye on the Vernal Pool Patrol website. They have fantastic resources. They have fantastic trainings. They do an even more extensive training on what we're going to be talking about April 13th. Um, they do a training every March, so it's going on currently, mm -hmm. um, every Wednesday um, from 6 to 8 p.m. They are having in-depth lecture styles, uh, talking about the program, teaching you how to go about um, getting involved and how to ID. Um, so right now the training is going on, but they are really great about recording everything and putting it on their website. So mm -hmm. keep an eye out for that. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, for the April 13th, um, for Vernal Pool Patrol in general, this is a great opportunity for your teenagers, for young adults, mm -hmm. adults of all ages to get out here and help contribute um, to the community science. Um, the April 13th and 14th specifically, we ask um, for 15 and up uh, to come. We will be walking through some, we'll be outside, so we'll be off trail. It'll be um, walking over logs, unsteady ground type um, terrain. Um, I recommend if you have waterproof shoes, wear those. Um, there is opportunity to keep your feet dry um, if you want to stay on land and use a longer tool, you can do that. Um, I recommend if it's a little chilly out, bringing appropriate attire for that as well. Um, snacks will be provided on the 13th, but if you'd like to bring extra snacks, feel free to do that as well. Am I missing anything? Um, 
do a certain age group need to bring a parent with yes them? okay so if you're under 18 parents make sure you're attending with your teenagers please mm -hmm. and um could you go into depth a little bit more about like the skill sets we actually oh. get to practice in the field yes. this is a very unique opportunity yeah. to get out in the field with scientists and work on your field skills so yes. like this is a cool yeah. opportunity. This is definitely an opportunity to be a resume builder if you're mm -hmm. wanting to get into this field mm -hmm. um, as you go through school or if you're wanting to make a career switch. So for Vernal Pool Patrol, you're gonna monitor pools at three different times. The same, this pool is gonna be monitored three different times. The first time will be when you're here, April 13th. The second time, it'll be about two or three weeks later. And then the third time will be in August, September. And that will, each time we're looking for different things. Um, we're of course testing pH. We're gonna be looking at um, the temperature, the water level, what's living in it. Mm -hmm. Have they progressed to a different stage in life? Mm -hmm. What different plants are here? Um, and then, so each time we're looking at that, but on the third one, uh, the third visit, we'll be getting into soil a little bit. So we're gonna do soil texture tests. Um, to see how much clay or silt or sand mm -hmm. is in the soil. So what the consistency is, we'll be looking at the substrate, mm -hmm. um, how the habitat has changed over time. So there's all different kinds of skill sets that you'll pick up in the training and just hanging out with um, peers that have been doing this for a while. You'll, as you get into it, you'll, your skill sets will grow more and more. So it seems like a lot of information now, but if you stick with it, it's very rewarding and you're going to be a scientist <laughs> able to go vernal pool patrolling all on your own on your property or your friend's property or here at Chippewa Nature Center with us or one of the other conservancies. So please so feel free. Yeah, there's yeah. the opportunity to take these skills yes. and monitor your own vernal pools right. and submit the data yes. or um, join a group that's mm -hmm. monitoring wetlands in a like already they've already determined where you want to monitor over the years right right okay so yes um, for the April 13th and 14th training that's really geared for um, anyone's welcome to come mm -hmm. um, if you're in vernal pool patrol already and you want a refresher please feel free to come um, but we are trying to get volunteers um, to help with the conservancies and the nature center because we have so much land and so sure. many different pools. Um, having a team makes things um, a lot more fun for one, yeah. but it makes us able to take inventory of more area. Um, so we definitely uh, would like to have that help. Um, if you're wanting to do this all on your own, like if you have property or if you know somewhere that you can get to um, that has vernal pools and you wanna do this on your own, um, you will need to complete the online Vernal Pool Patrol, but the one that's going on in March. Um, so set aside some time um, to take that. It's very worth it. It's great information. Mm -hmm. um, and if you have any questions, you can find your local coordinator. Mm -hmm. I'm coordinator for this county, for Midland County. Mm -hmm. um, Autumn Baker is the coordinator for multiple counties. Mm -hmm. I know Isabella Gladwin and I think two other counties nearby. Uh -huh. um, so there's a lot of support. If you have any questions, please reach out. So I hope you take advantage of this awesome field learning opportunity and we hope to see you in a little over a month. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah, thank you.